Halloween Kills Theory Judy Greer's Karen appears to be dead at the end of Halloween Kills, but the character may well return in 2022's rewritten sequel Halloween Ends. Judy Greer's Karen appears to be dead in the closing moments of Halloween Kills, but the movie's changing sequel plans could change that. After the success of 2018's Halloween reboot, hopes were high for the much-delayed sequel Halloween Kills. The second outing in director David Gordon Green's reboot trilogy finally arrived over the weekend after myriad release date delays and has received mixed reviews from critics and fans alike. Halloween Kills is both the bleakest and the bloodiest franchise outing since controversial director Rob Zombie rebooted the series. By the sequel's closing credits, almost every major character other than Laurie, and Lindsay, bizarrely, is left dead at Michael's hands. Haddonfield's resident boogeyman seems all but unstoppable by the time he kills the mob in the movie's last act, but it is his last-minute murder of Judy Greer's heroic Karen that truly seals the deal. After a group including Karen beat Michael to the ground and stab him repeatedly, the heroes fail to heed the advice given by the Scream franchise and don't shoot Michael in the head. As a result, Meyer soon rebounds and, in a feat of superhuman strength, massacres the entire mob before hunting down Karen in his childhood home. Karen's subsequent death seems relatively definitive, but the sequence is so sudden that the character could reasonably have survived. This is particularly true given the fact that Gordon Green's reboot timeline has a penchant for putting characters through the ringer, and the fact that Hawkins survived the 2018 reboot, not to mention the litany of violence Michael himself survives in the sequel, improves the odds for Greer's supporting heroin even further. Karen's Halloween Kills death is quick. With the highest body count of any Halloween movie so far, it is no surprise that Michael can't afford to be slow about murdering his victims in Halloween Kills. However, at two pivotal points in the sequel's fast-paced action, the villain does stop to linger on one kill. Early on, he spends a few minutes jamming knives in an already dead corpse, and later in the action, he spends an age toying with Cameron before finally breaking the poor boy's neck and putting him out of his misery. In contrast, his frenzied attack on Karen is suspiciously short-lived. Staring out the window, Karen is ambushed by Michael and stabbed in the movie's last minutes. A frantic montage is crosscut with Laurie staring out the hospital window, the scene seems to imply Karen is definitively dead as she is left lying on the floor. However, before being unmasked, Michael inexplicably left Lindsay alive earlier in the sequel, and Karen's apparent death sequence is over very quickly, meaning there is no guarantee she didn't make it out alive, if severely injured. Karen has been a major figure in the new trilogy and her death would be a huge blow to Laurie, which could heighten the dramatic impact of the heroine's final showdown with Michael in the third movie. However, her apparent death could also merely be a cliffhanger designed to keep viewers invested in the new saga and eager for the next outing. Although Greer herself confessed to being bummed about the movie's ending, this alone is no guarantee that the actor isn't going to return in the next outing and currently keeping that fact under wraps. Michael Myers made the same mistake as Karen, Judy Greer in Halloween Kills the characters of Halloween Kills, lacking the self-referential slasher smarts of their Someone Inside Your House's heroes and other meta-horrors, fail to dispatch the villain with a clean headshot. However, there might be a secret reason behind this. Viewers may have been frustrated to see Karen impale Michael on a pitchfork, only for her to fail to then finish the job by shooting him in the head. However, in the closing scene, Michael similarly stabs Karen repeatedly but doesn't instantly kill her with a head wound or a neck snap, something that the preceding movie's action has proven he is more than adept at doing. If Halloween Kills can use Michael's lack of a clearly fatal headshot as an excuse to keep the killer coming back, it stands to reason that the repeatedly stabbed, but potentially still breathing, Karen can return by the same token.